you guys must have paid attention to the fact that nowadays we have a new system added to our combustion engines which we call exhaust gases recirculation now question becomes why the heck do you want to recirculate exhaust gas well you have to understand uh, when engine is designed or built for they are generally built for a purpose let's say it's a truck engine is designed to be uh, optimum at full load so let's just say a truck is 60 ton during full load the engine is breathing everything is fine everything is dandy it has parasitic losses but the proportion of that parasitic losses of to compare to total energy production is very minimal so everything is fine but let's just say you dumped your load now you're driving empty at this point in time it's really bad because now engines parasitic losses actually did not went down but energy production went down so proportionately you are burning far more fuel engine do not like to be partially loaded so in those sort of scenario people used to try a cylinder deactivation exhaust gas circula recirculation is a similar type of concept the idea is you reduce pumping losses by recirculation uh, exhaust products generally at 10 to 30 percent partial load scenarios and at that point in time it also gives you extra benefit of reducing combustion temperature once you reduce combustion temperature the benefit is NOx emissions goes down drastically simply because uh, NOx requires two things first very high temperature and be uh, some amount of dwell time now if you can't control the dwell time but you can reduce the temperature that is GG people do want not want super duper high temperatures in the engine even though it will make it far more efficient but it will turbocharge the uh, basically NOx output. So that's why exhaust gas recirculation is becoming a very mandatory thing. However, uh, people hate it for a genuine reason. The Mark 1 products of these things were horrendously redesigned. They were rushed into the market. They had no way of servicing. They had no way of uh, actually making sure that it works, serviced, cleaned, all of that jazz. Thankfully, Mark 3 products are basically now what you're getting in any engine that is after, let's say, 2020, generally, hopefully, has better experience. So that's why we have generally exhaust gas recirculation. It suppresses NOx emission and makes your engine a bit more efficient, especially at partial load. When you're going full load, it does not care. It bypasses the whole damn thing. So that's why we have exhaust gas recirculation.